Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am super excited because we are gonna be doing another Shop With Me drugstore makeup edition. I've actually never done a video just dedicated to going shopping for just full on drugstore makeup. So here we are. So I was thinking of some video ideas last night before bed, which that's when I'm most creative is right before bed. But I was thinking, you know, I need to come out to the drugstore to obviously see what's new because I like to come here at least once or twice a month just because it gives me new inspo for new videos and makeup tutorials, etc. Um, but I also needed to come out to get some backups of some of my favorite products, lashes, a new foundation, and a new concealer. So I was like, why not bring you guys along and we can shop together and see what's new in drugstore makeup. So I'm actually here at CVS. I don't get all of my drugstore makeup from CVS. I actually go to a bunch of places, to be honest. Sometimes I'll come here if I'm looking for something more specific. I'll go to Walmart, of course, Target, and Ulta. I know Ulta technically isn't a drugstore because they don't have a pharmacy, if you want to be technical, but I go there for a lot of my affordable makeup and today that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna go to a bunch of places but we're here at CVS first because CVS usually has the best variety when it comes to LA girl cosmetics versus Ulta I feel like they can be a little slow at least my Ulta with LA girl so first stop CVS after this I think we're gonna go to Walmart then we might go to Target maybe Target's usually like if I don't find what I'm looking for at Walmart I'll go to Target and then Ulta is gonna be our last stop so yeah don't mind me by the way also I am literally in full glam my hair is a mess and I'm in sweatpants because that's just you know the life of a youtuber but I hope you guys enjoyed this video of course don't forget to grab a snack and let's go ahead and start shopping together okay I found some LA girl stuff the first new things that I see here are actually these glosses I've never even seen these before on Instagram but these are their new glossy plumping lip glosses so I'm gonna get this shade which is called plush and then the shade fancy which looks really pretty and these are $5. Okay, so here I have the brand Joa. I tried a couple of things from this brand last year and I wasn't the biggest fan. I didn't try everything though, so I'm pretty much gonna get the things that I didn't try. And I actually see that I didn't use is their setting spray. This is their selfie ready dewy. Oh, they have a dewy and a matte version. Ooh, I'm gonna get the dewy one. And this is $8. Also gonna pick up the selfie ready pore minimizing primer. I'm also gonna try out one of these brow pencils, the brow down to me. <laughs> That's cute. I think I'm gonna get the shade black brown. You can see this retails for $8.99. Okay, so I'm out of CVS. I literally got like four, five things and it was like almost $40. I'm like, oh my goodness. So this is honestly one of the reasons I don't like to shop at CVS. I feel like they are the priciest drugstore compared to like Walmart or Target. Even Ulta, I feel like their prices can be a little bit higher than Ulta which is crazy I know that they do have like a reward system I just don't shop here enough to get it but if you don't have a reward system and you come here for makeup it can be very pricey so I definitely recommend going to Walmart or Target for sure but anyways next stop is Walmart we're gonna go there see what we can find okay so first thing I see here is the new Maybelline full coverage concealer this is their superstay full coverage concealer I don't really see my color I think I would be shade 18 light medium. They only have shade 20 sand, but I think I'm just gonna get it just to see if I can make this work. I absolutely love the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. It's like one of my holy grails. So I'm gonna get a different shade because I do have a little bit of color on me. So I'm gonna get, I think, let's go with the shade Golden Natural. And it's only eight bucks and it's so full coverage and creamy. I'm obsessed. Ooh. I see some new Maybelline glosses, Maybelline and Summer McKean Lasting Shine Lip Gloss Collab. Um, this looks really, really good. I'm definitely going to get a few colors. Look at this. This one looks like chrome. It literally looks like an eyeshadow. Oh my goodness. Look at this color. Um, yeah, I need these. Okay, these are the three colors I'm going to get. Of course, they are nude from top to bottom. We have the shade Barefoot, Tanline, and Sunkissed. I don't know the price of these. I'll leave it on the screen because it's not on here, but they look really bomb, so I'm going to get these. Okay, this is all that I have so far. Honestly, I'm not seeing a lot of new things here, and this Walmart super unorganized, so I think I'm going to go to a different one. So I'm going to check out, and we're going to go to a different Walmart. Okay, we made it to a different Walmart. This one is much more organized, so... Let's see what else I can find here. <laughs> okay, first thing I'm gonna grab here is this foundation brush. Literally one of the last ones. I think there's one other one behind there, but I have been wanting to try this brush for the longest. It's $11. I actually have the powder brush, which is really good, and then this blush brush. I actually use it for highlight, and it's amazing. And you can see the prices of each right there. They are a little bit more pricey, but I think they're amazing. They're so worth it, and 
they're perfect for powder and highlight so i'm gonna grab this one though and see if it's any good i also see here some new stuff from physician's formula that i'm going to grab they have a new mineral primer here it doesn't have a price on it i'll put it right here on the screen but i'm gonna grab this and then this looks really good double cleansing oil it looks like this is to take off your makeup i'm currently using a makeup remover from honest beauty but i'm always down to trying out a new one so i'm gonna grab this I'm honestly super intrigued by this packaging. I think this is like super cute. So I'm gonna grab these two. Okay, I think this is a much cuter display of the True Blend Undercover Concealer from CoverGirl here than the other Walmart that I went to, but it's funny because it says flawless full coverage covers like a $27 concealer. I think that they're hinting at Tarte Shape Tape. I definitely do agree though. I feel like this is a really, really great Tarte Shape Tape dupe. I feel like this is honestly a little bit creamier and it sits better under the eyes than Tarte Shape Tape and it's literally only $8. So if you need a good one, this is it. And let's just talk about the shade range and the concealer. I think it's pretty good. It could be better. I feel like there's always room for improvement, but let's talk about the shade range of one of my favorite drugstore foundations. The True Blend Matte Made. Look at all of the shades. Like, yes, that makes me so, so happy, especially coming from a drugstore brand living for it so shout out to covergirl amazing product alert l'oreal crushed foil metallic glosses these are beautiful i really specifically like this shade right here number 14. okay i haven't seen these before the new nyx suede matte lipsticks they're only eight bucks they have a couple different colors of course i'm attracted to the nudes i'm gonna get these because i usually really like actually love nyx lip products of course i'm getting nudes oh just took the crap off that of course, I'm getting nudes, like, how cute is this packaging? I love it. I'm gonna get three nudes. I promise you these are not the same color. I also got this really beautiful red because it's fall and I love me a good red lip. So this one is in the shade Spicy. So I'm obsessed with this packaging. It's like kind of kiddish, but it's really cute. Legit the best lash glue you will ever use in your life. Not even kidding. Every single time I get new drugstore makeup, I always stock up on this. Even if I have some at home, just because, I don't know, I just feel like if one day this is gone, I'm not gonna be able to put lashes on anymore. So I'm gonna grab the last one here See there's a reason it's always sold out. Okay, wait I'm so happy right now because I found more of the kiss lash glues and they're only three dollars here Like at Ulta and any other drugstore that you go This is definitely like at least six dollars So get it at Walmart because it is only three dollars and I'm telling you it's amazing Okay, I'm so mad because I don't have the kiss number zero one lashes here They had them at CVS and I was like I'm just gonna get them at Walmart because they're cheaper because they are, they're only $9 here at CVS. They're $12, but they don't even have them here. Darn. First world problems, I know. I really do love the 614 lashes. They look like lash extensions. I always say this, but they are really good. But I think the Kiss 01s are just like prettier and they're a little bit like wispier for my eyes. I just love them. But these are really good too. I just, I already have a bunch of pairs of those. I just really wanted the 01 lashes. So let me see what else I can find. These from Ardell actually look really, really pretty. The 113 Wispy Lashes. Hmm. I'm gonna get these. You see how wispy they are? They look a little bit longer than their original Wispies, so. I'm gonna get these, the 113s, and they're only 10 bucks. Okay, so I actually found a lot of really great stuff. I wish I would've just came to this Walmart from the beginning because everything was super organized and I found pretty much everything that I was looking for originally. So, next stop, I think I'm just gonna go to Ulta. I don't really feel the need to go to Target. They pretty much have the same brands as Walmart. I usually go to Target whenever I don't find the makeup that I'm looking for at Walmart, but I pretty much found like a lot of really great new stuff. The only different brand that Target has, at least my Target, compared to Walmart is Profusion, but I just got a PR package from Profusion and I got a bunch of stuff, so I don't need any more Profusion makeup. So yeah, we're just gonna go to Ulta now. Okay, made it to the happiest place on earth for a beauty lover. Let's go in and see what we can find. Okay, I see this new line from Makeup Revolution, Revolution Pro. I've never seen this before, but they have a ton of new things here.
Okay, so I'm actually here at Target and I'm gonna get this makeup brush cleansing spray. I'm pretty sure Casey Holmes was talking about this a while back and it's been sold out and I wanna get it because I need to spot clean some of my brushes. So it's only eight bucks, so I'm gonna grab this. They also have a jade roller here from Sonia Kashuk. I love these. I don't have this specific one, but jade rollers are so good after skincare, like after you do your morning or nighttime skincare, so. If you need one, they have it here for only 15 bucks. Um, okay, maybe I missed it, but I hadn't seen this e.l.f. highlighter. This is only $10. You can see it comes with six shades in here. I'm gonna get this. I love e.l.f. face products. Okay, so I found this smoky eye brush kit from e.l.f. and I love this fluffy eye blender brush here on the end. So I'm gonna get this because it's only $12 and you get five makeup brushes. Also, every time I come to Target, I have to get a box of these, the plant-based Vega protein snack bars. I usually get the chocolate caramel and it tastes like a Snickers with protein in it, but today I'm gonna try the coconut almond because I'm starving and these are really really good okay so we officially went to like every local drugstore at least for me I do have a Rite Aid but I never really go there unless I am looking for Koki cosmetics but they don't have any new makeup products out that I know of so we pretty much conquered all of my major makeup shops where I get my drugstore makeup I'm sorry I have like stuff in my teeth I am currently eating one of the protein bars I know that this is not makeup but like I said, every time I go into Target, I get these because they're so good. They're like my new current favorite. Couldn't really vlog. So, okay, let's do a little recap. So, I couldn't really vlog much in Ulta. I actually got in trouble for vlogging. She, The girl came up to me and she's like, you're not allowed to. You have to go through corporate to be able to vlog. So, I didn't know that. I did get permission to vlog at Ulta before I did like a shop with me there. And I actually talked to someone from corporate and they said it was totally fine. Apparently, you have to do it every time you go into Ulta. So, I didn't know that. So it kind of killed my vibe, so that's why I decided to just come into Target. But they didn't really have anything new in here anyways. I kind of just wanted to browse, again, just because the girl kind of killed my vibe, but it's all good. So yeah, I'm going to head home now, and I'm going to show you guys everything that I got, and that pretty much is it. So time to go home, and let me finish this. By the way, 10 out of 10 recommend. The coconut almond is really, really good if you want to try a new flavor. It pretty much tastes like a candy bar with a little bit of protein in it. Okay, so I have everything out on my bed here. Why does it seem like I got so much stuff and then I come home and it's like not that much stuff? Like my receipts are telling me otherwise. With the amount that I spent, that just goes to show like makeup is expensive. So anyways, I tried to kind of categorize everything based off of where I got it. So like for instance here, this is the stuff that I got from CVS. So I got the Joa Beauty brow pencil. I also did get the Joa Beauty Selfie Ready Dewy Setting Spray and then I got their Selfie Ready Pore Minimizing Primer. I got two glosses from LA Girl. They're super glossy lips. One is like a more mauve tone pink. Another one looks like a really pretty like sparkly champagne. So I'm really excited about these because I love LA Girl lip products. And these are the LA Girl glosses. You can see these are also really wet. So you can see the one on the right looks more of like a really super pigmented gloss. Whereas the one on the left looks more like a topper. But they both have that really beautiful wet look to them. Which looks stunning. Working our way to things that I got from Target. As I mentioned I got the Smoky Eye Brush Kit for $12. I seriously only really got this for this specific blending brush. I mean, I do like the brushes in here as well, but this fluffy eye brush is my favorite at the moment. I love it for just buffing shadows in the crease. It's just like the most perfect blending brush ever. Then I also did get the Sonia Kashuk brush cleaner. I have a couple of eye brushes that I want to test this out with for whenever I'm doing makeup looks throughout the week. Obviously, I don't want to have to clean my makeup brushes every single night, so I feel like this is really good for whenever I'm filming a lot throughout the week just for spot cleaning so I'm gonna try this out and then I did get this elf glow gleam beam is that how you say it glow gleam beam <laughs> highlighting palette this one's actually in the shade light I didn't see any other colors there but this looked really pretty I really like their metallic flare highlighter this row down here kind of reminded me of that so looks gorgeous I also really love elf face products so I feel like this is gonna be good and it was only 10 bucks I just had to show you guys the elf palette up close oh my gosh look at how beautiful it looks okay next up we got some stuff from ulta actually just kidding this foundation brush like i told you guys this is actually from walmart i really love flower beauty makeup brushes so i feel like this is going to be really really good okay now we have ulta like i said i couldn't really vlog much in there but i did find this bh cosmetics blush palette look at how beautiful this is this is their glowing and grease six color blush and highlighting palette i have their blushing in bali palette and it is 
beautiful but this one was like calling my name because it's all like really peachy and really beautiful i love peachy tone blushes and bh cosmetics is like the bomb diggity they are such a great brand super affordable so i had to get that because i'm like obsessed with like blush and highlight but especially blush and let's take a moment and appreciate this palette up close i took the little plastic off because i didn't even realize honestly that it was on but oh this formula oh my gosh this is gonna be good Super, super pigmented, very soft. This feels like a high-end palette. Like, I feel like this palette could be, like, $30. Don't mind my nails, by the way. I need to get them done. But, um, look at that. This palette could legit be super expensive. Obviously, it's a little powdery because it is really pigmented. But, like, when you actually apply these products to your face with a brush, they're flawless. And then I also did get a backup of one of my current favorite drugstore foundations, the NYX Born to Glow. This foundation is literally $10, and it is absolutely flawless on the skin. So I got the shade Neutral Buff because I have the shade Medium Olive, which matches me really well, but I do have a little bit of a tan still, so I'm going to be mixing this in with Medium Olive. And then I got the Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer from Makeup Revolution. I got the shade C8. I wasn't sure if this was going to match, so I just kind of winged it, honestly. And then I got one of their new Neutral satin matte lipsticks and this one is in the shade cashmere this is from their new revolution pro line and it looked really good honestly some of the stuff in there looked high-end so i'm really excited about these two products i know liquid lipsticks are like super trendy and they have been for years but to be honest i love me a good traditional lipstick and this is a swatch it looks really good that's just one swipe that's really pigmented and it doesn't seem drying even though it looks matte it actually looked really creamy just by the one swatch that i did and then everything else is from walmart so i got my kiss lash lash adhesive and then I also did end up picking up some backups of these lashes from Salon Perfect. These are a little bit more dramatic but I feel like for some fall makeup looks they're going to be perfect. So I got the Extension Seeker 661s. You can see they're super wispy and really black so really nice for like a more dramatic look and then I got the 3D Curl Lashes, the 663s and then I got the Ardell 113 Wispy Lashes. Like I showed you guys, I did get the Physician's Formula, the Double Cleansing Oil, and then their Organic Wear Mineral Primer. I got four of the NYX Suede Lipsticks. Honestly, I don't think that these are super brand new. I actually saw these at Ulta, but they had a new sign at Walmart. They might just be new to Walmart. And these are some swatches of the NYX Suede Matte Lipsticks. Look at how good those look. That's literally one swipe, you guys. How pigmented is that? I told you that the nudes were completely different, and then Look at that red. That looks stunning. Ooh. I got the new Maybelline Superstay Concealer. I got two backups of my CoverGirl Undercover Concealer. I want to have like every shade in case I self tan or if I'm a little bit lighter. And then, like I showed you guys, I got three of these Maybelline glosses. Okay, and here we have the swatches of the Maybelline glosses. These, I will admit, they all look the same, especially swatched side by side. But look at how wet they look. It looks like they have a really beautiful sheen to them. And these are actually really, really creamy. So these are going to be a hit. I can already tell. So that is it for my little drugstore haul. Honestly, it doesn't look that big, but I spent a lot of money, so I don't know what I'm missing here. All right, guys. So that officially completes this drugstore makeup shop with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really curious to know where you guys shop for your favorite drugstore makeup. Let me know down below in the comments. I feel like everybody has like their favorite go-to place. I feel like for me, it's definitely Walmart and Ulta. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you love shopping with me. Let me know where I should shop next. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in a few days in my next one. Bye! We're just beautiful